All right, Charles, we'll stay close because we have a question later. We know the center of the political universe is in Chicago this week, but both campaigns are still laser focused on Wisconsin. Both campaigns will have rallies tomorrow in Wisconsin. J.D. Vance in Kenosha, Kamala Harris here in Milwaukee, taking a slight detour from Chicago in the middle of her party's convention. That means since the RNC and since Harris launched her campaign, both have been in this state a combined six times. And so Charles, a viewer from West Allis asked you about who pays for these campaign visits and who gets paid. You looked into it. So what did you find out? Well, I found out what campaigns, when they come to Wisconsin, Wisconsin is crushing it, but it also means those campaigns are pulling out their checkbooks for all of these events. Keep your calendar open. The campaigns are pouring into Battleground, Wisconsin at a fast and furious pace. Hello, Wisconsin. And it's good business for some, even local school districts. The Biden campaign paid $9,700 for this rally at a Madison Middle School in July. The Harris campaign was billed 13300 for this July event in West Allis. Campaign records show Trump's team paid seventeen grand to rent the Waukesha County Expo in May. And Racine Festival Park says the Trump campaign paid for this lakefront rally in June, but management would not say how much. What makes it unique to us is we're one of the swing states. Dan Devine has seen Republican and Democratic presidential candidates roll through West Allis during his 16 years as mayor. He sees the balance between the benefits and the costs. You do want the voters to be able to hear from candidates that are running for the most important office in the country. At the same time, you also want those constituents to not have to worry about excessive costs and tax costs. Mayor Devine says the Harris event cost the city about 12 grand in regular time for police and public works and 9,400 in police overtime. We always have a budget for police overtime. It is, you know, a little more flexed when we know events like this, it's like an election year. Devine says the campaign will not be billed a common practice with previous visits. Racine police say they did not bill the Trump campaign for the June event, but West Dallas and all other police departments that assisted with the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee will be reimbursed thanks to a $75 million federal grant to help cover law enforcement costs. Do the weekends usually get busier for you, or is it more during the week? The seven days, Charles. Brian Adorno says the RNC was also good for his private security firm. I first met him doing security work for a media company at the Trump rally in Racine. Security is all about making people feel safe. And the community is a big part of it. So when we have these political events happening, it doesn't matter which party it is, there's always a need for security. With 77 days to go until Election Day, Adorno is learning what this political reporter learned a long time ago. Charles, there's no such thing as slowing down in election period. All signs, and in this case, dollar signs, that Wisconsin is one of five states that can determine who wins the White House. Steve and Susan. A lot more dollars flowing our way in the next 77. Charles, thank you. Live coverage of the DNC starts tonight at 9 right here on TMJ4. You can also watch the full convention live stream at TMJ4.com.